That was quite the fall. You had me worried. Come, it's time for a reunion. He wouldn't give you up, despite my efforts to persuade him. Sam! Jesus. Hey, you made it. Dude. It's all right. He is like a girl. Is that right? How about we get these cuffs off and I'll show you how girls hit? The hell is she doing here? You said find help, I got help. Yeah. I must admit, you are quite the schemer. First you steal my disc, then you have your expert run me around in circles, huh? <laughs> That's clever. Perhaps there's a little Indian blood in you after all. Let's finish what we started. All right, all right. <laughs> so, Nadine Ross. Don't talk to me. <laughs> I was gonna say, you look good. Was I not clear? What's that smell? Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't exactly had access to running water and soap recently. God. All the people you could have brought with you. <laughs> she saved my ass more than once, you know. You do remember that uh, she also tried to kill Nathan and I many, many times. And to be fair, you two tried to do the same to her. Uh, yeah, but it, that's not the point. The point is that the second we turn our backs, there will be a knife in there. I can hear every word you're saying. I know! I trust her. <laughs> you know what? Fine. I guess I'm just a little bit irked that we are walking away with nothing. But I guess you know what that's like, right? <laughs> oh! Oh, my... Real classy, thank you. Time and place, children. More that came from. Bike racks after school. Ugh. Just hurry up! The kings have one final test. Looks like you won't be needing us, though, so we'll just be on oh, our on way. On the contrary. Surely you know the story. <laughs> you see, Shiva gave Parashuram a mighty axe that struck Ganesh in the face, bringing Shiva's son, one of the greatest of the gods, to his knees. Another casualty of war. Don't. Yeah, seriously, Chloe, he's just gonna kill! Uh, he's right. But if you refuse, <coughs> you will watch them die, inch by inch. All right! <coughs> Chloe, don't! Sharama.
Chloe, don't you give this schmuck what he wants. Quiet. He's yielding. Thanks. It's going to fall. Quiet! Ganesh, quite an obstacle you've placed in my path. Unexpected. Holy shit, she's got balls, huh? I, I don't understand. It's an idiot. That's because you've got it all twisted, my friend. Ganesh allowed himself to be struck by the axe. That makes no sense. Not to a selfish prick, no. You see, Ganesh could have defeated Parashurama easily. But if he had, that would have made Shiva's axe look weak. Powerless. Ganesh sacrificed himself to preserve his father's honor. See, even she gets it, not a drop of Indian blood in her. <laughs> huh. 
Magnificent, isn't it? Oh, what, nothing to say now? Oh, if you like, I can tell you where to stick it. <laughs> well, my friends, I would love to kill you myself, but we must not anger the gods, for you have brought me a great fortune. Okay, then, what are you doing? You're going to flood the chamber. I will miss you. Come on, is this really necessary? You know, nothing is ever truly destroyed. Only purified and reborn. Just shoot us and get it over with. Right? As the water fills your lungs, you will have time to reflect on the choices that brought you here. Perhaps in your next lives, you will fare better. Prick. I don't know about you guys, but I got a lot of regrets swimming around in my head right now. Well, tell me about it. I was really looking forward to kicking your ass again. Hey, you know, I'm not exactly thrilled about drowning next to you, either. Could you give it a rest, guys? I'm trying to concentrate. What are you doing? A little preparation goes a long way. Ha <laughs> ha, yes! It's the bias. What do you mean? Still very soft talking about <clears throat> end of the old rail yard. Something about an arms deal. He's selling the tusk. So much for preserving his culture. Hey, just a second. Listen, uh, <clears throat> back there. Thanks for professional courtesy. <laughs> of course. So are we good? No. I figured. If we hurry, we can intercept them before they make the sale. Huh. And there's our ride. These are nice. There. Railroad tracks. Stop here. So we'll have lookouts throughout the area. Vista on the side of caution. Right, right, right. And then we lose the tusk. You're welcome to stay behind. I'm if just you saying. Like. Right, 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 right. Less talking, more walking. So all that time in Asov's care, you couldn't get any intel on the bias? Uh, well, I tried. Asov the cage you were. Almost never talked shop in front of me. I can't imagine why. Hey, he trusted me enough to believe I was an expert in all this hoistala crap. Hoist the law. Yeah, the two. By the way, thanks for keeping him busy for us. Yeah, you know, I wanted to buy you some time in case you were coming to get me. Of course we were. Seriously, thanks. I really thought I was a goner. Wouldn't let that happen. 
Your brother would never let me hear the end of it. Found the train tracks. Sort of. Kind of a shock seeing all these modern structures after the Hoysala ruins. Sounds like it's British or Portuguese. 1800s, so not quite modern. Shit, you there? Chopper! It's so good. The soul thinks we're dead. Let's try to keep it that way. So, no, Nadine. We are not on a first aid basis. Okay, fine. I heard you worked for us off too. How'd uh, how'd you deal with torture? What? What do you mean? Did he torture you? Oh, yeah. Wouldn't stop talking about himself or his cause. It's like I get it, man. You don't have to sell me on it. <laughs> I'll just say to make some scratch. I'll stand it when people threaten my necessity. Okay. All right. Here we go. This way. Copy that. My machete. Uh, little help? No problem. Go ahead. Look, you first. Much obliged. Wow. a detour. You coming? Uh, I would, but the bridge here is a little busted. So jump. <laughs> I'm flattered you think I'm capable of superhuman feats, but it's kind of far. Never know until you try. Sit tight, Sam. We'll get you across. Oh, no. Hey, look, you're back. Why a detour? You coming? But the bridge here is a little busted. So jump! <laughs> I'm flattered you think I'm capable of superhuman feats, but it's kind of far. Never know until you fly. Sit tight, Sam. We'll get you across. <laughs> hey, look, you're back. Minor detour. You coming? Hey, this might do the trick. Holy mother of shit, this is heavy. <laughs> Damn you, I'm joking. I never joke. Not about anything. You know, one of you could have just let me borrow your robe, but... Ah, <clears throat> uh, here goes nothing! Go team! Come on. We're exposed up here. 
You know, I feel so much safer with her around. Nadine, see if there's something up there we can use. I didn't do it. No, we're good. Come on, China, I'll give you a boost. All right, just trying to be chivalrous. Just watch him, man. Uh, yeah, oh, got it. You see anything up there we can climb on? Like a crate or something? <laughs> this should work. <laughs> huh. Nice. Got it. Come on up. Go ahead, Sam. Age before beauty. Oh, you're too kind. No. She's just worried I'd kick it over and leave you down there. Right. Uh, how about I scout ahead a little? I wouldn't really leave him. <laughs> yeah, well, play nicer. <laughs> Sam, see your way forward? Yeah, uh, sorta. We'll uh, definitely need your grappling hooks. Okie doke. On my way. Precarious. Shit. Oh. Okay. You all right? Yeah. Great. I'll just borrow Nadine's hook and. I have a better idea. What are you? Don't move. Oh, come on. Hey. I said don't move. Unbelievable. <laughs> Chloe, can I borrow your rope? Of course. Me first, though. Don't mind me. Ow, watch your foot. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah just leave the rope for me, please. Yeah. You got it. There's a cave up there. Might cut through to the trick. I take it she's going first. Why don't you go ahead? Leave the rope for me. You got it. Next time, bring your own bloody rope. Heads up! Ah. Okay. What is this? Light? Sure. All right, well, there's only a few of them. We can probably... What? That Assam guy doesn't do things halfway. It's going to be quite a show. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Sure? What the hell are they doing there? We got rid of all these... Hey, Sam. Saying... Hey. You cool? Yeah, I'm cool. Because I need you to be cool. I'm cool. All right, ladies. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take the guy on the right. You two go ahead and Shit. just... <gasps> she said she was cool! <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, oh, Chloe! Got you.
Damn it! Search that area! Let's go! 
No way I'm letting anyone from Shoreline get the tusk. That RPG trashed the exit. Hmm. I think we can squeeze through here. <clears throat> Give me a hand. Coming. Necessary. Okay. Now then. Nearly to the rail yard. God's ball, she's alive. <laughs> Nadine, she's over here. Are you all right down there? Yeah, I was fine until Sam made me picture God's balls. Where are you? By the radio tower. Nadine, do you see a way up? Fraser, we'll find something you can hook your rope to. Ah, oh, sounds like a plan. Got something for you. The bracelet against that strut. I'm doing it. There. Okay. Come on up. Dirty enough. Thanks, you too. Well done. Yeah, not bad. Considering it was her idea. <laughs> so, you never heard us all talk about Shoreline? Swear to God, all I heard from this man with the Indian Army had cut off his supply <laughs> chain and they were looking for outside help. The salt must be desperate. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Shoreline's gonna get money for Manny. Uh, I mean, forget it. It's true. <laughs> Mm. 
Stuck. Let me a hand? Sure. through though no no good way through here is blocked a little high sam bet you're tall enough to get that ladder come on i'll boost you up i'll give you a hand more the merrier yeah i'm i'm i'm, I'm okay with this sure ready when you are <clears throat> have you ever noticed? oh shit sorry <laughs> Any spare ladders up there by any chance, Sam? I will look around. Been a crazy couple of days, hasn't it? Yeah, well, can't say I was expecting Sam Tarek to come back into my life. You know, I wasn't sure if I could trust you either. Had to test you a little bit. Hmm. That include making me wait two hours in a war zone for you? Certainly tested my patience. See, in that instance, I was just straight up late. There was this little girl in the market who sold me a scarf. She wouldn't take no for an answer. <laughs> Likely story. Hey, uh, you two head back to the tracks. I found something here that'll work. Yep, coming! <laughs> okay, Sam, what do you got? I have found a crate. Oh, of course you did. Here, I'll push it down. Wait, it won't be high enough on its own. Oh, right. Good point. Uh... We'll bring the cart over. We'll meet you halfway. There you go. That's using the old noodle. The what? It's the... Your br <laughs> the noodle. It's a saying, as in your brain. That is not what I pictured. <laughs> it was a compliment for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> There we go, old switcheroo. Miss Ross. Don't call me that. Yeah, well, it's professional courtesy. Call me a man. Yeah, no, I can't. I can't. Oh, hey, I guess I missed that. Sam, you can use my rope. Go ahead, you can use mine. You're part of the rope club, I'm honored.
Sam, you can use my rope. Go ahead, he can use mine. I'm part of the rope club, I'm honored. This just keeps getting better and better. Between Asav's man and Shawline, there must be at least a couple dozen guys in there. Hang on. What's in that crate? Uh, guns, ammo, maybe? Maybe. I thought Shawline didn't do arms day. We... They didn't. Never mind the crate. Where's the tusk? Well, there's Asav. With... Orca. Who? My former lieutenant. <laughs> I remember this guy. Yeah, there he is, in all of his mullet glory. Right? <laughs> she gets it. Okay, well, the deal's done. Your boy Orca has the task. Let's go relieve him of it. Hey, whoa, 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 wait. We've got a plan, guys. Like I said, there's over a couple dozen guys in there. Relax. You'll live longer. I am so proud. What just happened? Safety's off, chappies. No word from our lookouts, so we're on cleanup. Take extra care with Miss Ross. 